take your hand and draw a line from due south okay. directly overhead to due north. All right. You do that. Okay? Okay. That line has a name, the meridian. The sun, when it rises, works its way towards your meridian. It's coming, coming from, from the, the east, east, right? And it'll cross your meridian, right? Go to the other side of your meridian and right. then set. Okay. Okay. Before. Like anti meridian. Anti meridian. Before the meridian. Right. And so then PM must be post post meridian. Oh. It's where we get AM and PM from. Two whole concepts that rely on your meridian. Earth's equator. Mm -hmm. If you extended it out to the sky, okay. There's a line on the sky that corresponds to Earth's equator. That's called the celestial equator. All right. Okay. That's cool. We together? I'm with you. Now, there's another line that crosses the celestial equator. That's great. That line is the path throughout the year that the sun takes against the background stars. The moon, in its path around the Earth, has its own line. Path, its own line. Okay. So. If the moon is crossing the path of the sun, mm -hmm. at the same time the sun is in that spot, you get what? An eclipse. An eclipse. Right. So this path the sun takes around the earth is called the ecliptic. This is what Neil Tyson asked about the meridian lines in space. These are of three types. And this video is very informative. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.